Therefore, on the basis of this, I would like to congratulate the whole nation, and I would like to welcome you. Freedom and independence seeking is a legitimate right of every nation. The Afghans also use their legitimate right after 20 years of struggle for freedom and for, and for emancipating the country from occupation. This was our right, and we achieved this uh, right. Uh, and we would like to express our gratitude to Almighty God for having brought us to this stage. And I would like to uh, thank God for giving freedom to this nation. The Islamic Emirate, after the freedom of, of this nation, is not going to revenge anybody. We do not have any grudges against anybody. We know that we have been undergoing very challenging periods and crises, a lot of mistakes um, that uh, were made for the, that were in the advantage of the occupiers. We want to make sure, we wanted to make sure that Afghanistan is not the field of um, conflict, the battlefield of conflict anymore. On the basis of the orders of the Amir al-Mu'minin, uh, we have pardoned anyone, all those who have who had fought against us. We don't want to repeat any conflict, any war again, and we we want to do away with the factors for conflict. Therefore, um, the Islamic Emirate does not have any kind of hostility or animosity with anybody. Animosities have come to an end, and we would like to live peacefully. We don't want any internal enemies and any external enemies. Undoubtedly, we are at a very historical stage. Uh, um, our countrymen and women who have been waiting, uh, I would like to uh, assure that after consultations uh, that are going to be completed very soon, we will be witnessing um, the formation of a strong Islamic and uh, inclusive government, inshallah, God willing. As, uh, as uh, the forces of the Islamic Emirate entered, the, entered Kabul, and now this great development has had, that has unfolded, we had, have not had any casualties. Uh, there have been some rioters who wanted to, to take advantage, wanted to abuse the situation. And we, this was brought to our attention. We realized that that, was, that that problem was going on, but we would like to assure the residents of Kabul for full security, for uh, protection of their dignity and security and safety, and uh, security has been ensured, God willing, day by day, there will be more security. After ensuring the security, Afghanistan, especially in Kabul, there are embassies. The security of the embassies is very crucial, of crucial importance for us. And we would like to uh, assure that the areas where there are the embassies, they, there will be complete security. Therefore, all foreign countries and your representatives, your embassies, your missions, uh, international organizations, aid agencies, I would like to assure you that we will not allow anybody to do anything against you. Your security is ensured. Our forces are there 24 hours around the clock to ensure your security. Undoubtedly, uh, we want, we did not, not want to see any kind of chaos or inconvenience in Kabul. Um, our plan was to stop at the gates of Kabul after capturing all other provinces. Therefore, so that the transition process is completed smoothly without us entering Kabul, uh, so that we stop the troubles and harms or damages. 
او نظامي ځواکونه خسر د کابل امنیت د کاروي او متاسف انا باید وایسي بات ان فورچونټلی the previous government was so incompetent and as a result of their actions uh, the their security forces could not do anything to ensure security and we had to do something we had to take the responsibility uh, so that was the reason the abusers and the uh, rioters, uh, they wanted to abuse the name of the emirate, Islamic Emirate to enter houses or to uh, harass the people or to steal. So we, then, therefore, we instructed our forces to enter Kabul to ensure this, to stop all this and to ensure security. So we had to do this to enter Kabul to stop those uh, criminals and abusers so that we, we ensure the safety and security of the people and the residents of Kabul. Therefore, um, the residents should be are assured that your security is, is guaranteed. In the same way, uh, when it comes to under, uh, when it comes to the current circumstances, I would like to ensure, I would like to assure the international community, including the United States, that nobody will be harmed in Afghanistan. I would like to assure our neighbors, regional countries, we are not going to allow our territory to be used against anybody, any country in the world. So the whole global community should be assured that we are committed to these pledges, that you will not be harmed anyway from our soil. Uh, the international community, we would also like to request the international community so that we then recognize um, international boundaries and interactions, with, we should be treated accordingly. According to these frameworks, we do not want to have any, prob any problem with the international community. We would like to act on the basis of uh, the principles of our religion, of our culture, and we have given a lot of sacrifices. Uh, we have the right to act on the basis of our religious principles and rules and regulations. This is about the right of the Afghans. Um, other countries have also different, uh, they have got different rules, different policies, different Europeans have different uh, approaches and policies. The U.S. has different, different rules and regulations. Arab countries in the same way. Other countries in the same way. The Afghans also have the right to have their own rules and regulations and policies so that they are in the advantage and for the profit of the nation, of the people, so that they are in accordance with our values. So nobody should be worried about uh, our norms and principles. The issue of women is very important. The Islamic Emirate is committed to the rights of women within the framework of Sharia. Our sisters, our women have the same uh, rights, will be able to benefit from their rights. They can have activities in different sectors and different areas on the basis of our rules and regulations, educational, health, and other areas. They are going to be working with us, shoulder to shoulder with us. Um, the international community, if they have concerns, we would like to assure them that there's not going to be any discrimination against women, but of course within the frameworks uh, that we have. Our women are Muslim. They are will also be happy to be living within our frameworks of Sharia. We hope that uh, 
as soon as the conflict is done away with in Afghanistan, we are going to build the infrastructures of the economy. For this, we're going to take uh, actions for economic activities. The interactions with the international community with other countries are going to continue. We are going to be working on our natural resources, on our resources in order to revitalize our economy for our reconstruction, for our prosperity. Therefore, the Islamic Emirate is requesting the whole international community that, God willing, we can very soon, actually, very quickly can change the situation in the country economically. Every Afghan wants to improve his or her life. So the whole uh, community, the whole society will be active uh, in trade, in economics, and we are committed uh, to ensure security and after that to build our society, uh, to serve our nation. Uh, we are the servants of the nation for the benefit of the nation, both in this world and for the next world. Once again, I would like to assure the media, we are committed to media within our cultural frameworks. Uh, private media can continue to be free and independent. They can continue their activities. We've got requests, uh, uh, some requests from the media. Well, one is that Islam is a very important value in our country. Nothing should be against Islamic values uh, when it comes to the activities of the media. Therefore, Islamic values should be taken into account when it comes to the activities of the media, when it comes to developing their programs. Therefore, in the, the media should be independent, should be impartial. Impartiality of the media is very important. They can, crit they can critique our work so that we can improve. Um, so you, young in the media, should also pay attention to the shortcomings so that we can serve the nation in a better way, and you should also work accordingly. In the same way, it's very important that the Afghans are giving a lot of importance to their national values national unity, national consensus. The media should not work against us, against its national values, against national unity. Uh, when it comes to ethnic differences, religious differences, and hostilities, they should not be actually promoted uh, uh, by the media. They should work on the country for the unity of the nation. Um, to have peaceful, um, brotherly living together. For once, once again, I would like to express my gratitude to all of you for participating in our press conference. So the names are going to be read out. I'm here to serve you. We are going to have more press conferences. So today we have uh, maybe less time than the future. I've got, I just, just came from, from a trip. I just wanted to make sure you're not going to wait for me. So we'll have a lot of time to discuss in the future. The questions are going to be asked now. I'm going to answer all of the questions. Unfortunately, I can't hear the other gentleman uh, at the podium. So the first question from Al Jazeera. Everybody will have a chance to, to ask questions. Al Jazeera. Charlotte Phyllis from Al Jazeera. I can't hear her. 
Can you give to women and girls that their rights will be protected? Mokser Tarjiman is the same. I'm 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 the same. The question was about women's rights. The question is, what kind of guarantees can it provide for ensuring women's rights? As I said, as I mentioned earlier, when it comes, to, we are going to allow women to work and study. We have got frameworks, of course. The women are going to be very active in the society, but within the frameworks of Islam. Whether it is in work or other activities, because women are a key part of society, and uh, we are guaranteeing all their rights within the limits of Islam. Ian Panel, ABC News from America. Um, can I ask you, what guarantees can you give to the Afghans who fought with the Americans, the interpreters? Go on. What guarantees will you give to the Afghans who are now hiding at home, who want to leave the country, who the Americans will transport? Where are you? One, one. This is very important. This is a man who's being held hostage by the Taliban. His name is Mount Frerichs. And on behalf of his parents, they've asked me to ask you whether you will now commit to release him. Do you have a question? 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 The question was about interpreters and security for the, for the interpreters that work for the Americans, also the contractors. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot hear the questions by the media. I would like to assure you, I would like to assure all the compatriots, whether they were translators, whether they had military activities, or whether they were civilians, and all of them have been pardoned. Nobody is going to be treated with revenge. Those, the youth who have talents, who have grown up here, who are from this country, we don't want them to leave. We, these are our assets. We would like them to stay here to serve. We would like to assure you that nobody is going to knock on their door to inspect them or to ask them or to interrogate them as to who, who they have been working for or interpreting for. So I would like to assure you that no harm is going to be, um, they're not going to, they're going to be safe. When it comes to contractors, I don't have any information about this, but it, may, it, has, it might have to do with the previous years. I do not have any full information about this. Mr. Mujai says that we are assuring the safety of all those who have worked with the United States and allied forces, uh, whether as interpreters or any other field that they have worked with them. Uh, as for their talents and their skills, we do not want them to leave the country. We want them to serve their own homeland. As for the contractor that was perhaps, uh, he's gone missing, uh, as reported by the media. Uh, we do not have any information about him at the moment. I would like to 
I assure you that in your homes, nobody is going to harm you, nobody is going to knock on your door, nobody is going to be interrogated or, or, or chased. Those, those who had knocked on people's doors to inspect their houses that had been abusers, uh, they are going to be chased and investigated. So thousands of soldiers who had fought us for 20 years, after the end of the occupation, all of them have been pardoned. Those who, those families who are at the airport waiting, they, if they come back to their homes, nobody is going to do anything to them, they are going to be safe. Nobody is going to inspect them. They're, we give them confidence. Again, I can't hear the question. Uh, the journalist is from Tolu News. So from the answer, we'll find out what the question has been. If you can ask just one question, I should demand you that we have pardoned everybody. This is for the benefit of stability and peace in Afghanistan. All factions who have fought us from A to Z are pardoned, they are not going to be revenged. And God forbid, we haven't done anything intentional against anybody. Uh, if during the war and conflict somebody has been harmed unintentionally, then this is uh, one of the side effects of conflict for 20 years, uh, a huge occupying, occupying force was defeated, then uh, this, it was impossible for us to free the country, to emancipate the country without uh, injuries, without harms, without being hurt. You know that some people have even committed suicide, uh, like unwittingly, if somebody does something like that, uh, if somebody has been harmed as a result of these activities, these are, of course, understandable. They are side effects of war. But I would like to assure you, I would like to guarantee that no harm inflicted on the nation has been intentional. There have been the side effects of war, there have been technical problems, and other unfortunate side effects uh, and incidents. Next question. You know that when the political situation changed in the city, thefts and robberies and crimes 
um, started to emerge, but we had to take actions to stop them. Uh, in a very short period of time, we managed to do that. So we we wanted to, we had to stop instability. So they had to be controlled. So we had to come up with a sort of a um, actions within different uh, regions of the city. Uh, so gradually, we, man we will bring back complete normal instability. The Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan will never abuse any assets. Uh, those, for example, some people are armed, they have to be disarmed. I should, uh, you should be rem reminded that emancipating the country was a great, was a noble cause to get the country rid of the, uh, so we could get rid of the occupier, occupiers, without which we could not form our government. So uh, negotiations were taking place for 18 months. We had a strong team in Qatar. But then it was sabotaged. Uh, some warmongers sabotaged it. They had actually, this previous government actually announced a six month plan for war against us. So for another six months, we were going to witness uh, killings of our children, of uh, our compatriots. Our struggle was to form an Islamic government. Anyway, our fighters, our people who are involved in this struggle, we are all going to make sure that we can include all other sides and factions from all segments of the society. Uh, that's what we have been struggling for. Those who have, uh, whose lives have been lost as a result of uh, fighting for the enemy, this was their own fault. Uh, you could see that we managed to control, to conquer the whole country in a matter of days, but, but we are not arrogant for this. We have instructed everybody not to enter anybody's house, whether they're civilians or military. The, there's a huge difference between us and the previous government. When we form the government, then when everybody sees their position, their place, then you will see. The current situation is, of course, in the kind, the kind of uh, military situation. We will, after formation of the government, everything will be more clear. Uh, 
بلی اگر ایف ای سوال با اساس ایدئولوژی و مفکوره و یا عقیده و باور تفاوت وجود نداره قبل مسلمان همه بچا و اولادایشان است ولی سیستمز اور نیشن از مسلم نیشن ودر ایت واز 20 ایرز اگو ودر ایت واز ناو بات وین ایت کمز تو اکسپیرینس اند میچورٹی اند ویژن اف کورس دیر از ا ہیوج ڈیفرنس بیٹوین اس In comparison to 20 years ago, there will be a difference when it comes to the actions we are going to take. This has been like a evolutionary, complementary sort of a process. Let's talk about the law after the government is formed. They are going to decide what kind of laws are going to be presented to the nation. The, this will be the duty and responsibility of the future government with the participation of all people. One thing I need to say, we are seriously now working on forming the government. Uh, very seriously, I would like to assure you. It will be announced after completion. We have all the borders under our control. There is not going to be any case of smuggling of weapons. All the weapons that have been used in, in fighting are going to be collected and completed and registered. We Contact consultations are being carried out. So we will be aware of it soon. Uh, international journalists, please let's give a chance to them. This question should be asked to those people who are uh, claiming to be promoters of freedom of speech uh, who do not allow uh, publication of all information. You sh I can ask Facebook uh, company. Uh, this question should be asked to them. And let's give some more time to the international media. Uh, it comes to your first question, we have captured Kabul for the last three days in 
any province, we haven't had any case of murder. There is full security across the country. If a poet has been kidnapped, we are going to follow this up. Our poets, our talented people should not be harmed. They should be stopped. The current situation is like a resembles a martial law kind of situation. Uh, we, it will soon come back to normal. Nobody will be able to kidnap anybody. Compared now to last week, for example, there is a huge difference. Nobody is losing their life anymore. And uh, we are going to have more and more security day by day. Those who have left the country, we don't want anybody to be out of the country. This is their country. This is our common homeland. We have got common values, common religion, a common nation. We would like to come under the umbrella of these commonalities. We have undergone these problems and difficulties. There is this uh, public amnesty, general amnesty, so not, no animosity is going to be followed up. Uh, we are assuring our countrymen and women and the international community that Afghanistan will not produce any kind of narcotics. In 2001, if you remember, we had brought narcotics production to zero in 2001, but our country was unfortunately occupied, and, uh, and then the way was paved for reproduction uh, of uh, narcotics, even at the level of the government, everybody was involved. But from now on, nobody is going to get involved. Nobody can be uh, involved in uh, drug smuggling. Uh, today, when we entered Kabul, we saw a large number of our youth who were sitting under the bridges and next to the walls, and they were using narcotics. This was so unfortunate. I got saddened and to see these young people without any faith in the future. Um, from now on, Afghanistan will be narcotics, a narcotics-free country. But it needs international assistance. The international community should help us uh, so that we can have alternative crops. If we can provide the people with alternative crops, then, of course, very soon, we can bring it to an end. I should mention that Afghanistan will have an Islamic and a strong Islamic government, whether what the name is going to be, what the specifications are going to be, let's leave it to the political leaders. They are now conducting serious consultations in this regard. But, uh, we can assure you that it will be Islamic and, Islam and a strong government on the basis of our values and will not be against the um, values and the, and the benefits of our people. We will do our most to make sure that everybody is included in the country, even those people who were against us in the past. So we are going to wait uh, until the announcements are made. 
the government uh, agencies will be able to start working again very soon. When it comes to women, of course, they will be able to work within the frameworks of uh, our Islamic laws, for example, in education and health and prosecution. Of course, women will are needed. They are going to be able to be working. One question. One. One question. So, who will be the leader from the Taliban who can possibly be the face of Afghanistan now that in the absence of the leadership, uh, the Taliban is not here? Thank you. The Al Qaeda, the Arabic Kubara, the Taliban, 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 the Foreign fighters. One point that Afghanistan soil is not going to be used against anybody. Uh, we should assure the international community. Anybody who's going to use our land against other countries, we are not going to allow them at all. The government is being formed, the problems are beginning to, going to be resolved, our leaders are involved, so we are going to announce everything in the next few days. The social situation is under control now for a better government. The first question about foreign fighters is that we will not allow any foreigners who wish to harm or threaten the security of uh, uh, other countries, uh, any space in Afghanistan, and we have assured this. Uh, as for your second question, uh, uh, the, for, as for the government setup, uh, we are still working on it, and hopefully we will we'll be at the, we'll reach the uh, stage soon. <laughs> Can you please repeat the question? Can you please repeat the question? Can the women can women continue to work uh, for the media in the same way as in the past? Let's, let's wait and see what the future government is going to say. Our laws when it comes to media and other sectors are going to be such that everybody should be able to work, but within the framework of the Islamic Sharia laws. Because currently, we cannot actually present you with everything uh, clearly. Let's wait for the government to be formed and for the laws to be promulgated. And then we will, of course, be able to observe, observe those laws and regulations. How many questions? How many? How many journalists have we been able to answer so far? I can't hear the question properly, so let's see what the answer is, and then we'll figure out what the question was. The question is whether that you're in touch with Dr. Abdullah, Engineer Hikmetyar, and Hamid Karzai. 
Uh, I should say that very soon we will be witnessing the formation uh, of the government and announcing the government. We will do our most to make sure that we are in touch with all sides, with Dr. Abdullah, with others. We have been communicating with them. We are continuing our communication with them. We will do our most to make sure that all Afghans are included. Nobody should be left out. Uh, any, anybody who is interested to serve the nation, who has the will to serve the nation, they are not going to be ignored. Uh, so the future government will be inclusive. As to when our leader is going to enter the country and enter Kabul, I should mention that very soon the decision will be made and the government will be announced and all problems will be solved. Of course, we should wait a little bit more because it's like an emergency at the moment. We will make sure that everybody is included and we'll have a proper and healthy government. The question is about the relations with the rest of the world with the neighboring countries. As I mentioned before, Afghanistan wants to have uh, very good relations with everybody in order to revive our economy, in order to ensure prosperity, in order to come out of this the current crisis. It calls for having very good relations with neighboring countries, with other countries. We are doing our best to make sure that uh, we are committing with neighboring countries within the framework of uh, international diplomatic frameworks and on the basis of good neighborly and, uh, agreements and mutual respect. Thank you so much for coming here. We, are, we do not have enough time, unfortunately. Thank you so much for coming. Have a good day.